Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont, the founder of Easy Genie Ch Genealogy Charts and Forms. Today I'm gonna to show you a neat trick converting an old typed document into Microsoft Word without transcribing it. So here's what we have. I have this old document. You can see it was typed a long time ago, probably in the 1970s or the 1980s. It's in bad shape. And all I did here is I just took a photo with it on my phone. It can be an iPhone or Android phone, it doesn't matter. The next thing you need to do is upload the photo you've just taken to Google Drive. And this can be in my, in a Windows, Google Drive on a browser in Windows. It can be Google Drive on a browser in a Mac. It can be Google Drive on a Chromebook. But you just need to get that photo that you've taken into your Google Drive. Um, you can actually upload the photo from your phone into the Google Drive app. But then in order to do the conversion I'm gonna show you, you need to be using the desktop version. Windows, Mac, Chromebook, it doesn't matter. This is how it works. So this is the photo. I've uploaded it into Google Drive, and now I'm gonna convert it into Microsoft Word using Google Docs as an intermediate step. So I'm gonna right click over it, right click, not left click, and select open with Google Docs. If you don't see Google Docs here, that means the photo is probably too large. Google currently says that you cannot do this if the photograph is more than two megabytes in size. So what I actually had to do when I took the photo with my iPhone, the quality was too good. I had to resize it down to something smaller so it would be less than two megabytes in size. So if you don't see Google Docs here, that means it's probably too big. So go back to your photo and re figure out how to resize it. So I'm gonna select Google Docs again, right click over the photo in Google Drive, open with Google Docs. And what's gonna happen is, it's going to open it up in Google Docs, the photo. And here it is. And you may be thinking, well, wait a second, this is just a photo in Google Docs. How does this, this is not, I, I wanna be able to have like an editable version of Microsoft Word. So there's a couple of steps you have to, do, to take first. So one thing to note, the photo is just placed there for your reference. If you scroll down, you can see the text is here. And this text is, it's, you can delete it, you can edit it, you can reformat it. But what we're gonna do is first I'm gonna get rid of this photo. It won't affect the text and then go to file, download Microsoft Word dot docx. So you can do this in Windows or you can do this in a Mac. I think you can do it in a Chromebook and then you can open it up or somehow get it into Microsoft Word and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I've just done that. I'm gonna open it up in Microsoft Word. Here it is, testdoc1000px.jpg.docx, which is a Microsoft Word file. So this is Microsoft Word. Let's spread it out a little bit, and here it is. Actually, let's do a little side-by-side -side so you can compare them. Now, one thing to note, uh, this, this type document, it was kind of in rough shape. You can see it's torn. You can see some people, they somebody actually hand wrote fine motor and visual motor skills. And that didn't come through. You can see that this 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 thing was this is like a plus sign. It was meant to be and, but it was just uh, translated as a T. So you can make changes there. Find find motor and visual motor skills. So that was actually handwritten, and Google Docs was able to convert it. So what I'm gonna what I would do with this old document, I'd look at them side by side and make the changes that I needed to make, and so it can be read. Okay, and maybe do some some formatting. So as you know, Microsoft Word, it's really easy to do pretty sophisticated formatting, okay? And go through it and make sure everything looks okay. And there's bound to be some problems because this was form formatted in a weird way and maybe some of these things like parent, parent or teacher, that doesn't show up. So I'd have to look through there and make sure that it looks okay. But overall, if you have these old typed documents or maybe an old book or something like that and you wanna get the text out of the uh, the book or the old type document and into your computer this is a really good way to do it and i've done this myself with old um kind of type documents that are recollections from from relatives and ancestors so i could paste it into my software program my genealogy software program or do something else with it this is how you can do it using google drive and google docs to get it into microsoft word for more information on genealogy to see some really high quality acid-free genealogy forms as well as fillable pdfs fillable genealogy PDFs, go to easygenie.org. These are unique designs. You won't find them anywhere else. And we're very proud of them. If this video helped you out, if you could like the video and follow me on YouTube, I'd be very grateful. This is Ian from Easy Genie signing out. Thank you so much for watching.